I lurk within the fires of the campfire. I am on fire. Hello. Hello. Beloved Anathema, I come to you from Campfire Land. Do you want marshmallows? I would love marshmallows, thank you. Where are you going? I don't know, I'm trying to get the marshmallows. They're, they're, they had to already be a little bit on fire. I also have hot dogs. Oh, wait, I can't do that. <laughs> You're not me. I'm special. I could never be you. Aw. I could never be you, don't worry. It's, we, we, we each have qualities the other lacks. I did pick up the hot dogs, we're fine. The marshmallow, it is burning. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Burning like the souls of all the people we shall terrify tonight with campfire story time. I, I resent that this marshmallow is cooking and I can't I can't burn it to a crisp or take it off too early to annoy people. You're incredibly yourself. <laughs> no, it's what you do is it's everybody's around you with like the golden marshmallow hands. What you do is you figure out either number one, you light it on fire, you just take a big bite, or number two, you kind of just like swoosh it through and I'm like, yep, yeah, now my thing is all cooked. I mean, you can you remove, I'm pretty sure you can remove it early. Boom, all done. I eat raw mellow, baby. No, no. Apparently not. Yeah, marsh on this mellow. I have no room in my inventory. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder why I talk to you. <laughs> what, with marsh on this mellow, not a... Roast marshmallow on the stick. Can I recook it? Come on. Um, this was not something I had anticipated. <laughs> no one can anticipate me. You're so right. The world shall crash around me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Love this for you. Thank you. I also love this for me. <laughs> I believe I've stolen some of your mellows. That's fine. <laughs> oh, how do you like to get one back? You must say how cool I am. And You're I, very cool. You, you've just already given me food. Mm-hmm. Shindig again? I I mean I got the invitation, I, just kinda of followed you. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I I invited a few people. I invited uh Gawain. Uh Lux, Sylph, Captain. I I didn't write down a list. Uh, I no. figure whoever shows up shows up. Yeah. No. What if What if we show up and we ha we're too popular and there's there's too many friends and not enough campfire? Hello. Hello there. Lux. Hi. Welcome to the approach of your doom. Well, doom. <laughs> Hardly much doom. It's sounded it's, it just fine. There could be doom if we wanted. It can. Yeah. It can always be doom. Doom. Doom is not pain. Doom is a place your heart goes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wait. Wait. He also invited. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, do you want we have we have we have marshmallows, we have hot dogs. What in the world? What are these? Mm, sticking sticky contraptions. Uh you, you cook them on the fire and you eat them. Or you just eat them and you cackle. There's something deeply wrong with you. That is. Uh, I, I know you know. There's that a you lot love of me. things wrong with them. <laughs> Are you sure we should be uh, burning the stick as well? Don't worry about I it. I don't think this is the intended retail price. 
If it's if it's not a little bit on fire, you're not doing it correctly. Mm-hmm. I have to say uh, Hello? Hello? The fuck was that? Ominous slurping in the distance. Is this what they mean when they say get that slurp bitch? Yes. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, someone's brought their milkshake to the yard and isn't sharing. I have many questions. <laughs> Hold on. There we are. Oh, that. Well, I'm gonna go collect that arrow. No, no, it doesn't do it work anymore. I'm gonna go run it's ominously. It's on fire. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, I got that <laughs> sweet, sweet experience. There's something wrong with you. There's something extraordinarily wrong with you. I'm glad you came. Thank you for inviting me. I haven't gone to a campfire since, well, back home. Um, thank you? Um, that's just how my eyes are. What's how your eyes are? One of my spirits has complimented my eyes, that my eyes see things in such pretty colors. <laughs> this is this is simply the life you are living. You look with your special eyes. Your special eyes that can see all secret main dresses. <laughs> Rule number one, don't, 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 don't try to stealthily wear lingerie around Lux, he will know. What? What? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> one oh, time? right, right, that one time. <laughs> there was someone there. I know, I saw that. Ow! 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 Hold on. Ow! Hold on. Ow! <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Even... <laughs> That's not fun. <laughs> It's not exactly polite to sneak around like that. It was just... I thought this was an open invitation thing. What gave you that impression? I don't know. Maybe it's a, it's, it's a show Sorry. to see if you get an invitation thing. We, oh, oh, I'm gonna... I'm Watch not gonna die. A... Watch out, there's a child. It's not like you're in any danger. I've just been shot. All I'm saying is that it might be... A good thing. And whose fault was it that you were shot? Stop and let's I just wanted her. to make some marshmallows. I just wanted to make some here, marshmallows. Here, here, here. You can you can hang out a little. I don't invisible. know. Yeah. Well, well, maybe don't just sneak up on on a on a wanted criminal, and, and then and then you can make marshmallows. Uh, well, I would have revealed myself eventually. But consider it, it, it's funnier. Though, like... It's funnier if I shoot you while you're invisible. Mean. Mean. You're, you're so confident about not being able to be shot. Okay, so hang on. Are you the one who's been following us around? Following? Well, I mean, I lurk. I don't know about following around. <laughs> uh, Baka, I'm not much following, of following you. Ooh, it's not like I care <laughs> about your activities. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. God. <laughs> I'm just lurking in the area that you have to- that you tend to be in, always! I the... not like you! Ah, I stabbed the zombie in the face and did fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have an invitation, or...? You have a scary no. story. Do you have a scary story I yet? I do, I do- well, I have a story. I don't know about scary. Good, good enough. Yeah, yeah, you can stay. I mean, a a any story can be scary if you look at it through the right lens. <laughs> it right. You. Oh, oh, you do. I don't know if it's a scary story, but it's an interesting story. I like being up here. It's warm. <laughs> <laughs> I like being, being up tall. here. I feel powerful. <laughs> it's toasty up here. <laughs> no one else can come up here. Only demons and tieflings. Everyone else, fuck can, off. Yeah, we 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 tiefos. Our advantages. <laughs> ah! Ow! Rude! <laughs> the fuck was that for? <laughs> what the fuck is 
everyone else. I don't know. I invited uh -huh. a bunch of people. Well, it could just be us. We could just all we could start with the late. drama. Ah! Nope, I didn't fall. Oh yeah, Anathema. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've properly met after you know <laughs> the fias the fiasco at Law Day. Hi, I'm Aster. I know. No. Ooh. Okay. You have a reputation about you. You do? Wow. I'm touched, Princey. It's not a good one. Uh, well, <laughs> a reputation. A yeah, a reputation is a reputation. As long as people talk. Come on, Marshmallow. Come on, Marshmallow. Anyway, I've heard interesting things about you, Anathema. Oh. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, mostly from sleep, and I'm not really inclined to trust, uh, what he says, so. I look forward to getting to know you. It sounds like you have some sense. Did you just steal one of my marshmallows? Not on purpose. Mine now! August. Yes. Oh. If August did it, it was I'm on purpose. I'm of having a good time right now. <laughs> you are vibing. I am vibing. This is the warmest I've felt, like, since coming to the open. Ow! Hey! <laughs> what? No, no, that was a friendly punch. It was a friendly punch. We're friends. Are you friends? Ow. Ow! <laughs> oh, there nice. goes my... Well, speaking of heads, pick us up. <laughs> hmm, the spirits oh, like the bone name. Oh wait, 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 check this out, check this out. Look at this, look at this. Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, big head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've definitely heard you have a big head. head. Wasn't already big enough. Hey. Two more people arrive. Oh, my head is a fine size. Hey, howdy, hey. Hello Ooh, and welcome. Hunter. Hello. That's quite the makeover, Aster. Welcome to the drama. You don't like it? You don't like welcome my to head? The terror. <laughs> yeah, they look like this about half the time. The other half, they're a weird gaseous thing. Oh, you mean the the human? Yeah, don't don't worry about it. The human Sona. The human yeah. Sona? Yeah, no, yeah, human <laughs> Sona. You're right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm looking stuck down here. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. We have, we have, we have marshmallows. Uh, that, that was it? a baked potato. And hot dogs. Oh, do you want the potato back? I mean, you can have the potato, it's just not what I meant to throw. Okay. This yes, potato. Perfect bonfire a treat of baked potato. <laughs> Why not? There's so many goats around here. Check this out, check this out. Look at my party trick. Oh, watch, watch, watch. Bonk, 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 bonk. Your bonk, head alright, Aster? Yeah, Aster, and then Aster. Yeah, I've got a throbbing headache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they get a bit big headed, don't they? <laughs> a throbbing oh. headache. Don't say throbbing so close to the world. Throbbing. Well, I mean, something else is throbbing. August, right? August, I August, you August. Do you, you, really, you really have room to judge? Do you really have room to judge? I'm going back in my campfire. Be safe up here. Don't you dare fucking shoot me. I would never. Uh huh. You, mm -hmm. you wouldn't. But we're Only mortal it enemies, Anath Anathema, we're mortal enemies. <laughs> yeah, that's what makes it funny. Exactly. I can't convey this through Minecraft, but I'm arching an eyebrow. <laughs> an eyebrow? Not your back? I'm wiggling my eyebrows. Of course you are. <laughs> Fucking look at that tempo oh, vertical oh, leap. Sorry. I love goats. Goats are so creature. They're so creature. Are you ready for the drama? 
I'm so ready for the drama. Of course. Actually, Actually, would you like to hear a fun fact about goats? Yes. I guess. One of the Nether Kingdoms, um, goats are the national animal. Oh, which one? Mm. Do they have like a goat day? Um, I want a goat I, day. I mean, Do you get to ride a goat to like school? I think what? that's what I'd do with the goat day. No, they're just they're just I a do sacred something animal. else to a goat. Yo, well, that's because you can't get any people. Hey. Rude. <laughs> mean. Rude. Rude. And I mean, hey, if you like the horns, I'm right over here. Took my marshmallows, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> Mine now. Get over here. No. Ow, 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 ow. Hey, don't be mean to me. Don't be mean to me. I'm a little baby. You can't do that. That's illegal. It's their birthday. Ow! I highly doubt it's your birthday. No, it's my birthday. August is right. It's my birthday, actually. It's my birthday? <laughs> birthday, August you can't do this. I'm pretty birthday. sure you I'm said so your close. birthday was in Jollibee. Jolly. Jollibee. Jollibee. I'm not sure when my birthday is according to the Haven calendar. My birthday is whenever it's funniest. It was a month ago. My fucking god, it's been a month already. It doesn't feel real. <laughs> Nothing about this place feels fucking real. I need a warm up. I mean, we, should we, we can make some. Should we be building you big bonfires more it. often? What? Existential bonfires. Yeah, every well, not... every single time a month passes, just add another layer. As the <laughs> flames grow higher and higher, we like know our beacon. fate is sealed. I mean, this is a beacon right now. It's quite smoky. Yeah, I saw this and thought it was a forest fire. Hey. Somehow this is contained to the campfires. Cause I- cause, yeah, overworld forests are flammable, aren't they? Through magic and safety and- You what know my old friend Smokey the Bear used to say, it's up to us to Who's prevent Smokey forest the fires. What I see you had a similar legend. <laughs> right, so imagine this imagine a bear, but like ripped and with no shirt. And he kinda just walks around and he's like, hey campers. So so Freddy Fazbear I won't on like steroids? you. <laughs> Freddy Fazbear on steroids. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do these embers like light things on fire? Is that how they might. I believe I believe our campfires are starting forest fires. Oh god, Christ. okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh my god, this tree is not surviving the winter. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's gone. Gone. Why? I've got just TNT on me. I just wanna like put one next to a campfire and wait to see how long it takes. Oh do it. I'm do cutting it, do down it. this yeah, tree. Do it. There's a enough... There is enough of us chaotic gremlins here that this could work. <laughs> that what could it work? Enough? It's for science. For science? I think it might help like if you put TNT. something like flammable next to the TNT. I'm not sure oh, if it can light like, TNT. Oh, right. Directly. Hang on. This is, oh, no, yeah, this is okay. going to end in disaster. I we thought that was the know. point. It's for science. It's yeah. for science. Yeah. Wait a second. What's up? the blast oh. radius on this thing, guys? <laughs> um, enough. <laughs> yeah. Worth it. I just got- oh, okay. That makes sense why Bob Bo is shattering. I suppose with two scientists here, it's worth studying. Uh, yeah, official royal scientist business. You, you wouldn't understand. Oh, wouldn't I wanted to get up on that tree, and now it's on fire. Oh my god! <laughs> Look, oh, so it is! is on fire! Fuck, wait! No, I distinctly heard the sound of, of uh, flint and steel being lit. The click. I can't get up there. Whoa. Story time as we wait for the inevitable. Oh yes, story time. Of everything we Hang know on, I'm gonna yeah. see if this helps. Oh great, thanks. <laughs> Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This, this looks great. like a we get, we get together. <laughs> this is a fucking We get together to do this like is, a campfire story. Team. Oh my fucking yeah. god. Okay, I'm not putting that you shit see, out. Art is, art is temporary. It's like making- it's like right- it's like, um, sand sculptures that get washed away. 
I love that we came together to do a campfire story stream, and now we're waiting to see if this campfire will blow up the TNT. I'm I think so that sounds right. I'm so curious. I mean, it's gotta. At some point. If, if, it, if, it, if it manages to set the leaves on fire... It also think... looks like the biggest mess of an experiment I've ever seen, so, you know, that's fitting. Love wins. Love wins. Okay, um, did it- Oh! You know, okay, okay, listen, listen. Princey, set me on fire. With pleasure. No, that didn't do anything. Oh, wait, 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 no! Wait! <laughs> yeah! Yay! Oh my god! Let's go! Royal I got so for a reason, baby! Woo! Science wins again! Woo! This was Just... certainly a thing that happened. <laughs> One of the campfires is gone now. Hold on. There's oh, more campfires right. in the chest. Oh, there can cool. always be more okay. campfires. Yeah, All um, you have to yeah, do is take something one. and light it on fire. I know that's your life philosophy. <laughs> I have charcoal now. Anyone want... I swear to God. I'm good, thank you. I'd say that was a successful experiment, honestly. It was. Best mm -hmm. experiment mm -hmm. I've ever done. It's great. We won. We won science. Something that yeah. is both normal to want and possible to achieve. I mean, yeah. I don't do experiments pretty often, but like, that was- that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was an experiment. And you call yourself a scientist. August, why are you yeah. eating rotten flesh when they're age my fully, actually nutritional... Wait, not want that? <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst thing August has eaten. You know what? You're right. I think the void goop is on number one, really. Yeah, why did you yeah. do that? Probably. probably. I had to know. Uh, you to really know. didn't. I did. I I don't know Frank, how to tell. I you was going to. <laughs> I was going to say, does anyone want to start? You you've organized this, shouldn't I did. I did organize this, but I I wanted to know if anyone like felt strongly about starting. No, I'll I'll like maybe do mine near the end. All right. All I'll right, do mine right. second. I'll do second. mine third. <laughs> I'll do mine at some her. point. All right, perfect. <laughs> All right, okay. Is this everyone? I I don't know. I invited people. Some of them showed up. Aster is here. Yay! <laughs> Bonus <laughs> guest. <laughs> Dwayne's living over there. You gotta you gotta buy three get one free. So oh, they are. Hi. You Hello. would be free. <laughs> you would. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hello, Gawain! Gawain. Oh you wanna gosh. join? Hello? Gawain? Hello? Hello? Hi! Hi. Uh, we, we have, we have, we have... Here, there's marshmallows and hot dogs. Would you like some diggity dogs? Oh, I think I just might stolen the marshmallows. Are these some kind of sausage? Uh, yeah. I see. This is sugar? Mm -hmm. Sponge sugar? Hi, uh, you're on fire. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you alright? You've been kind of MIA. So have you. Yes, well, I was. I was so busy I. experiencing time non linearly. Uh huh. I found something. Um. I'm not sure where, and I'm not sure how long I was there. <laughs> Just found my way back, and there was an invitation. Oh, good, you got the invitation. invitation. Was in the library? I can't remember. It's, it's all a bit. Well, we can we, 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 we can investigate that later for now. Story time? Okay. It can be story so time. Well, you traumatized yourself. I'm a I do have resident resident curse breaker with the fairy tales. Not a curse breaker anymore, but I do have a fairy tale. Resident magic expert. <laughs> and curse breaker if they feel like it. <laughs> Thank you, August. It's good to see you again. 
good to see all of you. It's good to see you too. You as well. Okay, so I have a story from where I grew up. Oh? Mm-hmm. Let's hear it. Okay. Uh, hang on. Spirits, is this sound okay? Is the campfire too loud? I just want to make sure before I start. Hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the spirits to spawn. Nice ambiance? Okay. Cool. I'll take it. So... A thousand thousand moons ago, past the far shore of the farthest ocean, there lived three sisters. They were quite alone but for each other, but as they loved each other they were quite happy. The land provided all they needed and plenty besides. They would have been content to live there all their lives had the lake by their house not frozen over. The eldest sister was a fisher by preference, and dismayed by the ice she went out to examine the lake. Unable to fish with it so covered, she readied a pickaxe to break the ice. She swung the tool back above her head, ready to strike. Knock. 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 There came a dull, hollow sound from below the ice. As she hesitated, it sounded again. Knock. 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 And so the eldest sister, she lowered the pickaxe and then lowered herself to her knees. She wrapped her own hand, hand against the ice. Knock, knock, knock. For a moment, there was silence. She whispered, hello, and then again, louder, hello, but there came re no reply, no, further in, knock, knock, knock. Pickaxe forgotten, she ventured out onto the ice, following the sound. It led her this way and that, windingly, until at last she stood at the center of the lake. Are you brave, or are you a fool? The eldest daughter she startled, not having expected a voice. After a moment's hesitation, she said, I like to think I'm brave. The voice laughed. Do you now? Are you so sure? And the ice beneath the eldest sister began to crack. She jumped back as it gave way, but stayed close so as to see what had broken it. If you're so curious, come closer, said the voice. I'll show you. The eldest sister, she stepped, stepped closer to the hole in the ice. What's up behind you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good timing. Yes, yes, as we all know, what happened was that a creeper exploded. <laughs> oh, yeah. 100%, that's how it always ends. I love the homeland creepers. <laughs> when she did not return, her sisters began to worry. The eldest sister had not been in the habit of staying away long, and certainly not without telling them. They waited for her, but as their supplies dwindled and the unfamiliar winter continued, the middle sister resolved to go looking for her. One at a time! Mm -hmm. To the goddamn slaughter! It's a fairy tale, you know how it is. It's true. Always there how rules. fairy tales are. Going hand in hand is always safer. Mm hmm. The middle sister was a crafter by preference and did not often leave their house alone. Still, she had followed the eldest sister to the lake many a time and so knew to start her search there. She approached the shore and called the eldest sister's name. Knock. 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 There came a dull, hollow sound from below the ice as if in response to her call. Struck by the sudden thought that her sister may have fallen in, that the ice may have frozen over her, she fell to breaking the ice. Sister mine, she called. Can you hear me? And a voice that was not the eldest sister's said, Are you kind, or are you a fool? Where is my sister? the middle sister asked, for she knew the question to be a distraction. Are you so sure she's here? asked the voice. If I wasn't before, I am now, said the middle sister she. Sister mine, can you hear me? And further in, below the ice. Knock, knock, knock. She's calling for my help, decided the middle sister, and set back to breaking the ice. When the middle sister did not return, the youngest sister grew more worried still. It was not like the middle sister to stay out past nightfall, or indeed for very long at all. The youngest sister grew cold and quite lonely, and in the end decided to go looking for her sisters herself. The youngest sister was a scant few years older than a baby, but she had spent her life observing the world around her and learning its ways. She had seen how the torches on the house melted the snow around them, and when she ventured out to the lake she brought torches with her in the hope that they might melt the ice. She stopped at the edge of the lake and looked across its frozen surface. It looked undisturbed, but both of her sisters had been here and neither had returned. The youngest sister she considered turning back, but the idea of returning alone kept her rooted to the spot long enough to hear, 
knock, 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 knock. Is someone there? The youngest sister asked and set down a torch at the edge of the lake. There was no reply, but knock, knock. She set down another torch next to the first. The ice began slowly to melt. Sister's mine, she asked. Knock. She circled the edge of the lake, and the sound followed, as though it were trying to find her, as though it were looking for a large enough opening. As she rounded the far side of the lake, a voice that did not belong to either of her sisters spoke. Are you clever, or are you a fool? The youngest sister, she did not reply, for she saw a bone-white hand just under the surface of the water, beckoning to her. She placed another torch. The hand retreated back under the ice. Emboldened, she continued. If she could warm this lake enough, surely her sisters could escape this strange winter creature. But the lake was large. Perhaps the center should be warmed as well. She stepped onto the ice where it had not yet melted and continued to the center of the lake. Beneath her, she could hear the creature. Knock, knock. The youngest sister, she began placing torches and waited for the ice to melt. Knock, knock, knock. It took her barely a moment to realize the sound was now behind her, but that only moment was enough time for her eldest sister to reach her. Frightened by the eldest sister's blank, bright eyes, the youngest sister wrenched away from her and stumbling plunged into the close, cold water. The middle sister's eyes were the same as they met the youngest sister's. The youngest sister, she swam for the surface, but as her fingers breached the surface of the water, the ice closed over them. And as the water filled her lungs, her desperate clawing, knock, 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 at the underside of the ice slowed and then ceased. As this was told to me, so I tell it to you. Mm. Nice. Interesting. Good one. Always good. venture out in groups. Mm -hmm. And go to walk alone. <laughs> um, Quite looks... literally, every fa fairy tale that I've ever been told has just been, Oh, brother one goes out and gets killed. Brother and two dies. goes out and gets killed. And then brother three is smarter than both of his brothers and succeeds and brings the firebird home. Like that that's <laughs> fucking every single story. Yeah, why, How many firebirds can one younger brother like, bring another, home? Pick another young. Pick another number. Like I what, 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 what if there were four? Wait, what the third one succeeds? When does the third one succeed? <laughs> like in good fairy tales, when you tell the story. Are you telling me are you telling me mine's not good? Are you saying I don't no, have a good fairy good. tale? Yours is good. No, no. I was going to say, for what it's worth, Zeke thinks it's good. Thank you, Zeke. Thank you, Zeke. You know what? Yeah, if you have a better classic fairy tale, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I fucking will go. Get in your fireboard. Yeah. <laughs> go for it, Princey. <clears throat> Where's the firebird? It, there's so many fucking firebirds. <clears throat> there once was a woman with an arm made of solid gold shining brightly in the firelight. It was delicate, made with love, the polar opposite to her other arm. Her other arm was as black as void, darker than obsidian, darker than the darkest, darkest black stone, claws sharp enough to tear through the air. People coveted the golden arm. Suitors flooded from every kingdom and every realm to try and get the arm. Some tried to marry her, others tried to cut up the arm off and be done with it. Every time, they would forget about her other arm. They were torn to shreds before they could blink. The blood glistened on the void dark falls. Eventually, the woman died, passed due to natural causes succumbing to old age. She was buried in a faraway cemetery, unknown to anyone except for the one who buried her. One day, a human man from the overworld decided to seek her out, claimed that the golden hand claimed that golden hand something something that no other man could do. He entered the nether and asked the guards that had never. They shook their heads. They do not know. He asked the Queen of Spore. She did not know. Finally, he asked an old man in Lumos. The old man nodded and led him to the cemetery, where he pointed out the woman's grave. The soul sand almost recoiled from her grave. When the man turned around to thank the old man, he was gone. The man blinked, confused. He had just been there. Oh well, it was time to dig. He dug up the soul soil, which marked her final resting place, and opened the coffin. The woman lay there with only one gold arm. The man blinked. Where was the second arm? He heard a raspy voice behind him. As he turned around, he saw the woman. Here it is!
Ow. Ah, I'll excuse traditional. you. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll excuse you. <laughs> I'm coming I mean, for. Oh Listen, no, Red. You went after me first. You went I... to try to Yeah, yeah, turnabout's fair play. <laughs> it was the old woman with the pit black arm, excuse you. I did nothing. <laughs> How dare you accuse me of something that I had no part in? <laughs> Lurking in the woods, the arm is the arm is going around. It's called her oh, your face! Uh -huh. See how I did that without actually hitting you? <laughs> That's called being polite. I think it's funnier. I think it's funnier when you actually do the hitting. No, too no, that was funny. That was My funny. My father told me the story. He actually hit me. What? That's your father? Worrying. That is like hard. Is that is that the reason you want me to kill him? I mean, there's many reasons why I wanted to kill him. That's Fair a new enough. development. Mother seems yeah, like he didn't tell me about that difficult yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, no, he's. Really not a nice person. Hmm. Oh, that sucks. Infinite upgrade with the sun here. Mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> God, imagine if we had Thank a cat guy. Thank you. Well, oh, I don't know about that. Sir, can you repeat that? I said, imagine if we had that guy. Oh, God. I mean, he's fucking bedridden and dying, oh. so I would hope that he isn't here. Oh. oh. Otherwise, he'd be just be going around like. I'm an old man, fuck you. Although, it would be kind of fun. He'd be bedridden and dying forever. I mean, some on. people, some people would, would, would call that a hell. Yeah, I good fucking riddance. I set my spawn here now. If you break the bed, everyone has to leave. Fine. Do you want fucking snacks? Oh, I heard there was campfire things, so I brought marshmallows. We all I brought, actually, I brought marshmallows. a lot of marshmallows. Okay. Play! Hi! I'll take some marshmallows. What happened to all the space things you had going on? Ooh, thank you for the baked potato. <gasps> what happened uh, to the space mean? thing? Oh, you mean the... Uh, don't worry about it. Is it just like a, you don't feel like being space it's right now? Human so and I don't be rude. <laughs> no, I, I'll explain later. Got it. Don't worry about Fringe. it. I look like that, this sometimes. Oh. I guess I don't know how to feel about that. Right now Did I look like this. You can cook these? I don't mm -hmm. like Oh, yeah. That. <laughs> yeah, you cook them on the campfire. Your own visage reflected back at you. I Does don't know how to feel the truths a... you'd rather not? <laughs> I didn't bring any to I'm sorry. It just looks wrong, is wrong as what it looks like. <laughs> is that some sort of incantation? Ah. It's a fucking spell. <laughs> um, so, like, really we're, we're telling scary stories, uh... I saw, I like, saw your invitation. Would you like to t tell a scary story? Would you like did. to earn your place at the fire? What? Has anyone told what any scary fuck? stories yet? Mm -hmm. I want your head. I told one and Lux told one. <laughs> no! You have to ask nicely for something like that! Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Well, what'd you expect for committing regicide? My fucking game crashed. Yeah, but it was, it was, it was just a joke. <laughs> you killed a crying look so <laughs> hard. Then hold on, my game fucking crashed. I'm Lux now. No. no. Oh my fucking god. Oh I'm my in charge. Wow, somebody is picking up all of the marshmallows I'm putting down. Would never be me. That's that is. A shame that oh, it's not you up. that doesn't have- that you don't have my marshmallows Sorry, Chad, and someone else has my marshmallows. Would you, would you like an like unrelated marshmallow? I would love some Ow. unrelated marshmallows. Uh, while we're- while we're waiting for Lux to get back, uh, who, who's going next? I have a story that could be companion to that one. Regicide Extreme Edition. Well, something's wrong here. Something's wrong here. I think a little regicide or is fun and sexy. Mm -hmm. I don't think Regicide is fun and sexy. You're not flammable, that's helpful. Kodo, where are you going third? I was going whenever I had an opportunity. I think- I think August was going third. I, oh, I don't like this. Oh. I'll go Wait, fourth what? then. No, it's fine, go ahead. I'll go after you. Uh, don't- don't are start you... yet though, because we're waiting for Lux. I was just trying to streamline this Why doesn't end in a jump scare? Oh, like I missed the jump scare? Gonna That's be... a shame. Yeah, so there's gotta be, like, time, because then it's not gonna be a... 
You know, it's like gonna be less impactful that way. Has anyone started a forest fire yet? Yes. Yes, actually, we have. Yes, we have. We actually blew up a campfire. It was a very successful experiment. We don't need you. We have a spectacle even from the car. Aw. The king is back. Return, Return of the king! Captain, can Return you take that king. off? It's unsettling. Thank you. Who fucking marshmallows. Who's putting ow, up ow, on ow. my marshmallows? I don't know, but I mean, people have been picking I up my marshmallows too. I am definitely not. Here, hey, is it, is it now against the fucking law to have unnecessary murder? Yeah. Yeah, but it's funny. Yeah, but I mean, the law doesn't. I mean, matter I don't see any way. cops here. Oh, yeah. Do you see a cop? Are you a cop? Are you a cop? Are you a cop? I see, here, see there's cop. somebody the up here. Cop? We have cops now? No, cop. that's the point. We definitely have cops now. I see a cop, guys. Where? Where? In the trees. Which? Hold on. Wayne? Hi, bird! Oh, it's bird. You're back. Hey, bird? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Wow, reunions all around here. Are you gonna kill us for killing each other? I mean, you're well, not that, technically in illegal. Elysium. I mean, there you're not go. technically. You're not We're in Elysium. Is it only in Elysium? Huh. Right now. We just have to do. Uh, we just have to do community service, like uh, planting trees and moving carrots around and stuff. Oh, you mean like like planting the trees that we lit on fire? Yeah, I mean, exactly. That They're reasonable. arsonists. How many trees did you light on fire? What are you doing here? Well, I kind of watched the entire town slowly leave. And mass leaving in the same direction. So, well, did you bring a scary story? Who's up here? Uh, I mean, Inside. yeah, I have one. If that's a requirement to stay. You got some hot mm -hmm. dogs. Yeah, I've got one. Dogs? Okay, you've got. It. You've got the hot dogs. All right. Fine. I think I think Gawain no. was going to go next. Mm -hmm. What? Do you do you want height? Yeah, sure. you, you want a loom? <laughs> All storytellers it's... deserve a good loom. You looming? It's That's true. my thing. You can't loom. Uh, it's, I think anyone Do we have enough looming to. to go around? Mm, I guess. Not exactly. Ooh, Ash, I'm on fire. And it feels like you're stealing my bed, though. Also, Aster, I'm not sure we've actually uh, before. The tree is burning again. Oh, yep. oh, oh yeah. I noticed. I think, yeah, I think. Uh, you know what? I think it's too late. Let's just 07 that and continue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 07. You know what, Gawain? I don't think we have met. Hi, I'm Aster, the royal scientist. How are I'm you? Gawain, the former curse breaker. I'm a curse breaker. Oh, what oh, happened to the curse breaking thing? Did you stop doing that? It's not as... Read the room! <laughs> yeah, can we just get on with the new <laughs> story? Okay, uh, fair. Of I accidentally cooked my potatoes. I have a raw one if you want one. I'll get Why would you want a raw potato? I think that's a health hazard. Well, it's... I don't know. As... As we are safe beneath the... Walls of... Bone uh -huh, and earth. I found the guys, for... guys, shut wow. up. Wayne's telling the story. Oh no! As we are safe beneath the walls of bone and earth, or the metaphorical the walls, walls as it was, uh, there was a time before the bone paths when the whole of the world was open to us and every block a path. And in those times, there was great arrogance and great zeal and people who went to such lengths as we could not imagine as stunted and confined as the dark makes us today but there was darkness even then and harbingers to what was to come and one of those harbingers came the lord of a fine, high city. High in the mountains, where the flowers bloomed and the sun shone 
and the great shining city had iron walls to keep out all that crawled and swarmed from the land. And the king of that iron city woke each morning, the lord of that iron city woke each morning behind the walls of metal, the shining walls, and would walk to them, calling out to his citizens, each by name, calling first to his daughters, and then to his guard, and to the people of his town, until he'd walk to the walls and look at his face in them and see the reflection of himself and all his forebears, and know that his kingdom stood where no other kingdom had dared stay. Until one morning, he woke and walked to the walls and found a crack in the metal. It's a small crack, hardly bigger than a finger, but visible. And he called his smiths immediately for defense, even then, was paramount. And he, but no, uh, no hammer, no iron, no tool could fix the crack. He couldn't let his people see this. So at last, he covered it. He spun an illusion and hid it from the world and hid it from himself. And thought no more of it. Then one morning, several months later, he walked to the town and found the crack. It crept from the shining walls of his city to its floor, to the stones of the paths. And he stepped over the crack, stepping carefully for the closer he looked, the more sure he was that to touch such a thing would bring all the walls down. But he could not speak of it, for it seemed that those around him could not see it. And a king is not afraid. So he called the stonemasons. And when replacing the tiles did nothing, he simply covered it and resolved to speak no more of it. Until one morning, several months later, he woke and stepped from his room and found cracks splitting the flesh of his daughter's faces. <laughs> and he knew reaching out that if he were to touch them, touch those cracks, they'd fall apart beneath his hands. But there was no doctor, no physician, no curse breaker who could see the cracks or fix them. So, but he could not hide in the faces of his children. And every day he rose and saw the cracks deepening and deepening in the foundation of his world. So one day he realized that they were not a matter of flesh or bone or path or tile or wall. They stretched beneath everything into the roots of the very code of the world. And all was rotten beneath. But one cannot see such a crack without fascination, without temptation. And one day he must have reached out and touched it. For no one ever heard or saw of that city again and all that remains fragments 
and furrows writ so deep in the flesh of the world that none remembers their names. Nice. Do you think that's where Haven came from? I don't know. I... It's actually, I'd never thought of it like that. It's more of a story of ignoring things until they become unmanageable, I suppose. Mine's also about invisible crack, so I feel like slightly different perspective. Mm. Go for it. I go next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, in, in keeping with this theme, I guess. All right. Once upon a time, there was a boy who knew, deep in his heart where he kept the truest parts of himself, that the world he lived in was unstable, that the working laws of his universe were only suggestions, and that at any point, and for any reason at all, they could simply cease functioning, and down would be up, or atoms would crumble apart, or the sun would vanish from the sky. And so the boy was always incredibly attentive to his surroundings and the way they functioned, because if the world ever broke, he wanted to know how. Given all this, it was not surprising that the boy was the first to notice the holes that began to eat through the ground. The first one opened up right in the center of town, straight in the middle of a major roadway. And as the boy watched, people would walk into it and fall, disappearing forever into the dark. The surprising thing, then, was that nobody else seemed to see this happening. And even as one person fell, the next would be stepping in the hole to join them. The boy cared about his town and his world, and so he began patrolling back and forth across the edge of the abyss, tearfully stopping anyone who tried to cross the road. But the boy was known to be paranoid, anxious, and altogether off-putting. And for every person that sympathized with his obvious distress and promised to find a different road to travel, three more would shake him off and scoff as they walked to their deaths. One night, when there was nobody out traveling, and the boy had managed to muster the necessary courage. He sat on the edge of the hole and peered into the darkness, startling backwards as he looked into a glowing, green, intelligent eye. I've mm -hmm. seen you here before, said the creature eating the world, and its voice was like thunder and darkness and the end to all things. Tell me why you stand by me and cry. I wish they could all see you like I see you, said the boy. That way they wouldn't walk blindly into your jaws. That way they could save themselves. The monster in the hole thought for a moment. When its green eye closed, four yellow ones opened up further down. I could help you with that, it said. Reach down your hand. And the boy did, half expecting to be dragged into the hole below. But instead, something cold and wet wrapped itself around his palm. When he shakily withdrew his fingers, his hand was pulsing with a dim light. Touch someone with that hand, said the creature, and then they will be able to see me. And then those they touch will be able to see me. And so on. And the boy thanked the monster and wondered at its nature to give up its advantage of invisibility so easily. The very next day, the boy grabbed the last person. Last. The boy grabbed the first person walking towards the hole, and they stopped in their tracks and gasped at the death trap they had so nearly wandered into. They went to grab at the next person, and the knowledge spread like a disease. Soon everyone knew of the danger. The town put up a fence around the hole and closed off the roadway. But that didn't save anyone when the creature opened up its mouth and the abyss began to grow. New holes opened around it. Nowhere was safe to step. People walking through parks and heading to work saw the ground disappearing beneath their feet. And as they fell, they screamed in terror and pain as their lives were cut short. Entire residential districts were swallowed. The cracks opening across the world merged together and cut the land to lonely, floating fragments. And the creature beneath the world ate them one by one. To the boy, it looked like he was the last one left. He was all alone. His house and flower garden, the final bastion of hope amongst the sea of darkness and multicolored eyes. He sat on the edge of the garden and stared into the nearest pupil, determined not to look away until he was inevitably swallowed. But the monster left him. 
was it better? The creature asked him one day, and the waver of its words seemed to hold genuine curiosity. Was it better for them to see me coming? I don't know, said the boy, and he couldn't stop the tears from pouring down his face and salting the last of his flowers. Tell me why you stand by me and cry, asked the monster, a perfect echo of the first time they had spoken. To the boy, it felt like so long ago, even though only weeks had passed. I don't want to be lonely anymore, said the boy. The creature that was now the ground thought for a moment. I could help you with that, it said. Reach down your hand. And the boy did. And then he squeezed the closest thing to the monster's hand as he willingly walked into its jaws. The end. Nice. Double crash. Very nice. Good. Hmm. Ow! Why are you oh, killing so me? Sorry! I didn't know who hit me! I just assumed it was you! No, there's been something running around here hitting you. Like, it was pushing me earlier. It was yeah, pushing me on the exactly have a party crash. We have another have party crash now. now. I got smacked I by the same thing and started withering. I think the vampire's here. He's oh, pushing yeah. me into the fire. I got rocks. Right. I have some cobbled deeply in the polished blackstone button. Did you? Did it really take everyone that long to notice? Yeah. Or were you just I've been oh, noticing no, enraptured right? in the story? Of August. Oh. Was enraptured. Yeah, Maybe no, I'm just so I sexy. Smacked. I, I kind of show, show yourself. I lost track of where Sole was and Aster, and I just assumed. Well, I, I thought know, I was sitting there the entire the time. Might have been Listen, the bird I saw them standing next to me also confused. I've been behaving. Look, it, it couldn't have been me. They keep pushing me into the fire, so. <laughs> yeah, I heard you. Couldn't have down. been Aster. Last I checked, Aster can't wither people. Well, you have okay. a serious bias. Do you want to add? Do you want to join the party? <laughs> oh, please do. <laughs> All right, who's next? I don't know who's gone yet. Who's got a story? You can go next. A story? Yeah. Any? Do you have a story? A scary, a scary story, story, ideally. Specifically, an, an I mean, it is one. one. Um. Thanks. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> There were once two kingdoms. A smaller, that was new and prideful and didn't like outside help. And a larger, that had built itself up over many generations. It had many allies and tried to help those who bordered its land. One season, there was a drought, and the Greater Kingdom reached out its hands to the Allies, and collaborated, and helped its people survive. The Smaller Kingdom used its timber to build walls, and when the food in their barred-off fields was no more, struck out into the Larger Kingdom. Their people had survived the famine. Surely they could spare. They would be fine. They'd apologize after. It would be a simple affair of, oops, our bad, we had to feed our people. The Grand Kingdom didn't like that. They said if it happened again, there would be war. The smaller kingdom ignored it, ignored opportunities for peace, and continued on. Two seasons later, there was another drought. Worse than the first. And the smaller kingdom again struck out into the Grand Kingdom's territory, stealing their food and burning their villages. They needed it for their people. And so there was war. The smaller kingdom should have been stomped. The Grand Kingdom should have stomped them immediately. But it didn't. It kept trying to offer peace to save lives. The smaller kingdom didn't like that. 
It didn't like the larger armies sitting on their borders. It didn't like the mighty warriors. And so they started scheming. They started taking young, talented children from villages, from farms, from royal academies, squandering them away to a secret project. And for months, there was silence. <laughs> a ceasefire was even signed. And when the two kingdoms met at the end of the ceasefire, on the border, to barter peace, the smaller kingdom unleashed their secret project. A monster. A conglomeration of every perfect entity from every stolen child raised over those months with some kind of wicked magic to turn it into a grown adult savior to them. It had the strength of ten and two wide teeth that smiled and glinted in the sun. Their ivory warrior. Spikes of bone and gnashing jaws. The Grand Kingdom's armies fell and squandered. They could not stand against this unholy beast. The smaller kingdom said, we will have no peace. We have our warrior. You will bow before us. And they marched towards the capital. Parading their ivory warrior. Until their ivory warrior was no more. Until I killed it. You. Oh. Ding in a flex! Nice! Nice! Oh, we're we doing flex scary stories now? Flexing stories. That. God, mine feels so, like, I didn't... not as impactful as the rest of them. Bird? Hmm? Are you okay? So did they, like, cut up their people, their, their kids, and, like, stitch them together? They did. That's Ooh. horrific. Abomination. I mean, it's not it the war. Ivory Warrior's fault. Hope you stuff their rulers in like a fire or something. Well. I I don't remember. Whose turn is next? <clears throat> I think Kodo's offering me go. Yeah, I can go if we're telling flex and horror stories. I Thank didn't goodness. mean to. I go ahead. Just go. So there was this one guy who's dressed in all black walked into my office one day and he said he told me i need you to kill this creature i'm like all right well what's this creature what's its story what's it about this creature lives deep in the darkest pits of the underground it has no eyes its scream can be heard all the way on the surface. And it dwells in a place of pure corruption. I smile at him, I'm just like, so an average Tuesday. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> wow, why are you so like, yeah, every day, Every day I venture into hell. <laughs> Look at my sword. I I'm go so down sexy. to hell every <laughs> single day. Look at me, I am coat, I am a strong and powerful monster. Oh, I'm so cool. Just the business of a, a monster I have a museum, I'm dedicated to myself. Look at me, I'm friends with a demon and an angel. An angel, what? Don't worry about it. Okay, um, anyways, he looked at me and he said, this creature is no jesting matter. Uh, did, 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 the, did the monster hear the electric guitars playing as he went down to bite it? <laughs> anyways. <laughs> so I give him the arched eyebrow, and then he said, payments up front, here is where you are going. I went to the middle of nowhere. It was Badlands, I think. 
it took me deep into the uh, deep into a cave. Oh, it took I him deep, you say? <laughs> oh, how as deep? How deep? Six inches? As I was descending, I started hearing voices. Turn back. You are not meant to be here, Hunter. I ignored it and pressed deep. I ended up in some level of a crypt. Ignoring the zombies and skeletons, I pressed deeper into about deep sleep layers. Press into hearing... deep sleep? <laughs> deep sleep? <laughs> <laughs> well, questionable taste there, Coda. Hey, yo. Hey, huh, come on, we don't judge. I do. <laughs> okay, yeah, I do. Anyways. Once again, I heard the voices telling me to turn back, that I'm not meant to be there. And then, I started to hear squelching under my feet. The underground began to look a lot like the stars in the sky. Blinking. But it wasn't light like it is now. I could hardly see anything. As I've descended deeper, candles started to light. Following the candle path, I made it to a... What, what, what's the place called again? Crypt? Not a crypt. I already passed the crypt at that point. It was some kind of a city. There were weird tentacle Necropolis? things. Necropolis? It might have been a necropolis. There were these weird tentacle things that oh, no, were... isn't going. <laughs> Stop talking about tentacles. And every step I took made them make a weird noise. I ignored it, continued deeper into the necropolis, until I heard and felt the ground start to quake beneath me. I jumped aside as a massive creature emerged. It had weird horns, no eyes, and a death-defying roar. Death-defying roar? That's not correct. It, August, anyways, after jumping roared. into the void a few more times. Deafening? <laughs> Deafening roar. Thank you, Bert. Before me was a creature known as a warden. Now, these oh, wardens... Lord. They are no laughing matter. I've seen them kill warriors in full prot for netherite. Not true, I made one laugh. Holy shit. What? I made one laugh. They're a laughing... They're definitely a laughing matter. But continue. <laughs> and... It immediately started to swing at me. Luckily for me, I evaded. It did manage to hit me once, though. Almost killed me. That's how badly it hurt. I don't remember Sorry. much after uh, that. Why? I was aiming for the Why zombie. Why is there a witch? That was so rude! <laughs> no, Road on my head! Oh, my ow! Me! Stop getting it! Oh. Gwen! I'm gonna go. Gwen, careful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Who's so ah. mean? I'm trying to aim for the mobs! And see, I know we haven't been on the best of terms recently, but... Your majesty. I'm, I'm gonna go Dude. lie down in a Give fucking bed. Give me the head. Give me the head. Give me Soleil's head. Now I want it. Oh! So no head? So no head. Uh, Camila, Coda, oh. keep going. Sorry, Apologies, Coda. Coda. There was... There were mobs. I was it's busy fine. being shot. I was not aiming for you. You kept getting mm -hmm. in the way. So you say. So you say. Why you I, don't... <laughs> I don't remember many details of the fight. All I remember were was the weird squelching blocks that looked like the stars, the deafening roar of the warden, and getting hit a couple times. But after I had left, victorious, the man in black approached me once again and thanked me for my service. 
and then faded into nothingness right before my eyes. Nothingness. That was definitely a ghost. Mm hmm. Definitely a ghost. Mm hmm. Mm. Well paying ghost. <laughs> definitely a well paying ghost. So if it was called a warden, what was it guarding? That ass? Real. Oh. I remember what? this weird looking portal structure in the necropolis. So maybe it was guarding that. A gateway to another world! No different than a portal to hell. <laughs> I mean, the ones That's down there are bigger. That is true. The ass is in hell? No, the portals. <laughs> That's my story. Well, who's next? The deep are funny. We should go sometime. Uh, I, 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 so, like, you explain to me. Yourself, explain to me uh, what's so funny about the deep dark and how you made one of these warden guys laugh. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That can be your so, story. Um, this is your. Yes. They're, they're, ticklet, they're ticklish. Fair enough. Oh. oh. How did you manage to get one in place long enough? Great question. You aren't going to answer that, are you? Nope. <laughs> okay. What's the fun in that? Okay, I think, Put um... sugar on the ground. So, like, Cap and Astra haven't gone yet, and also the vampire, if she's still hanging around. Yeah. <laughs> Angel, come on, tell a story. Come play! I wanna see! I'm sure you've got a scary story in there somewhere. You can be the scary story. Mmm. That too. <laughs> Hey man, the only thing scary is that outfit. Hey. Hey yo. Hey, perfect. Toasted and toasted. Ow. Yeah, Astra, okay. I'm kidding. Yeah. Okay. Aster. Aster, what's your story? You well, being beat story? up by a bat. Mm -hmm. Royal oh, scientist. Is that what it is? Bad. All right. Well, I got an interesting. Is that what? It, yeah, that's what it is. That's that's what we've been doing. This isn't an attack on you. What the. You know what? I think mine's in. Well, it's a good way to end the night, I think. All right, Soleil. Oh, are we going? Am I? Am I telling a story now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What kind of? Are we gonna do? Are we gonna do a scary story? Or are we gonna do a bragging story? Am I gonna do a like a moral moral dilemma? Like a I think that makes you really wonder about the state of the world and decisions that you've made. But like on reflection, very valuable as a lesson to learn. Why so are you like this? Gary was on the invitation. It's fun. speaking. That's true. I forgot the invitation because I didn't get one. Um, okay, so I will tell a story then, um, and I'm gonna tell something so scary you're gonna be like quaking. You're gonna be uh -huh. you're so scared, mm -hmm. so, so concerned. I'd okay. love okay. to Ooh, hear you try to scare me. You know, uh, there's no poison in this guy. one. You might be fine. So <laughs> the, the so the story I'm gonna tell um, is. Once upon a time, it's the classic fairy tale start. I guess that's a happy one you did yours. Uh, anyway, uh, once upon a time, there were uh, there was a kingdom, uh, and it wasn't it wasn't what you normally think of as a kingdom. There wasn't a single king. It was it was an uh, an oligarch. There were uh, two kings, two queens, um, and really, as 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 anti monarchy as people can get sometimes, uh, they really were beloved by everyone. Um, like everyone, everyone was a fan of them. They, they weren't kind, but they were fair. And what they did with like you couldn't, you couldn't ever say they did the wrong thing. Like they, they really were, like doing doing the best job that they could. And everyone agreed. And it was, it was like they they did what they were supposed to. And uh, one day, one of the one of the kings was. Uh, was servicing conference with the others, and and he, he felt a, a hunger, and that wasn't unusual. He was he was like the the biggest guy. He he ate a lot, and and you know he he really went for it. But uh, there was sort of that like hum hunger, rumbling, rumbling inside of him, and saying, you know, just take take one more bite than usual. Take a take another slice, and so he he kind of just he reached over, 
pretty subtly onto the onto the other king's plate, and he he took a he took a forkful, and that was it. That was nothing more than that. Just you know, single a single extra taste of what the other king was enjoying, uh, a single extra serving more than more than he deserved, and then uh, you know, nobody nobody really noticed. And what's what's a bite between between coworkers, friends, the the family that they were, and and so then they. Uh, Couple, couple days went by, and you know he felt that hunger again. He, he took an extra forkful, and it wasn't it wasn't noticed this time. The, the other king, the queens, they they noticed what he was doing, but you know, like what's what's an extra forkful at a feast? They're they're the rulers of the country. They can they can afford to lose an extra bite. The the other king can go down to the pantry and get an extra snack if he's if he's a little extra hungry at night. Um, and then the the rumbling was a little bit stronger. And the the king, you know, he took took more than just a bite. He he just kind of he took a he took an appetizer, the whole the whole small plate. And um, it wasn't it wasn't something uh, it it wasn't it wasn't something that's you know reasonable to start taking extra dishes. You know, hire bring in extra people, make more more food every. Eventually, every night started to be a feast, and you know, we can we could afford it. It was a it was a nice kingdom. They could they could kind of take care of it, but we could afford uh, it. Yeah, uh, you know, the citizens of the country, uh, the mm-hmm. constituents of the king. I'm I'm empathizing with the people in the, okay. the kingdom. You're an um, empath. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm very good at telling people's emotions. But are they annoyed case, at you? Uh, what? Are the emotions <laughs> annoyed at you? Uh, so much of the time, yes. But anyway, um, the the people of the kingdom they could uh, they could afford the loss. They were they were prosperous, and their uh, their rulers had always done right by them. So they um, you know they they made the thief bigger. They they fed more, and they the other king, the two queens, they they always took their fair share, the same same amount. But uh, the last one got hungrier. And hungrier, and uh, eventually it wasn't the feasts weren't enough. Um, he he needed more, and he ate and he ate and he ate, and food food stopped meaning the same to him. Uh, that sort of that hunger became more than more than hot dogs and marshmallows and potatoes and. Uh, Became became something a bit stronger, and um, one day, one day, uh, August. I'm, I'm sure you'll appreciate that. Uh, he took a he he bit the other king. Um, oh, and and he he bit one of the queens, and they not obviously no one was a fan of that. No, the 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 constituents. <laughs> they weren't the, into it. They didn't they didn't, the they didn't have the talk they, beforehand. No, they were they were not they were not a, a fan of of that. So they. You know, they pull them aside, national forum level of uh, controversy. And like, hey, uh, don't, don't eat your allies. Don't. Uh, and it's he didn't. Thing to do. He didn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he didn't stop. And uh, one <laughs> day, he uh, he ate the queen like fully, like yeah. oh, dead, like dead level well, of um, of. And now they didn't have four monarchs. They didn't have And so they decided not to lock him up for this. Um, and... We will remember this. this. They were and, like, well, you know, we're they, uh, him now. This isn't a problem. Now it was a... Now it was a kingdom of three. Uh, a, a queen, uh, a starving king, and um, a, a king who wasn't done yet. And... Um, pretty sure he's still hungry. Is is that it? What do you mean, pretty sure he's still hungry? That was right, end, oh, end of the ending. story. Eat the rich. Thank you. Woo! That's a moral I can get behind. <laughs> How about let's don't? <laughs> the other kings didn't retaliate. 
Get they were like, one. yeah, this is fun. You've just eaten one of our co-workers. You can, you can just chill out at the table. We're, we're not gonna put you in prison for this. Seems not yeah, you're... very like the kings that I've known. Does anybody the other have king, any like, food goes up goat? and says, so how did she taste? And he's like, oh, you know, she tasted like fine wine and bread and butter. <laughs> Does anyone have any food for my goat? He keeps jumping into the campfires. I. What do goats eat? What do goats eat? I don't know. He doesn't eat I berries. I have a sapling. Is it wheat? I've got hay bales. I'm pretty oh, sure. Does anybody have, have any tin cans? I don't think. What's a tin that's can? A thing. Angel, are you gonna come join us? Here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, he does eat wheat. Okay, he's, uh, he's good. I guess. What do you so, mean the yeah. goat eats meat? Wheat, 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 wheat. wheat? Also, oh. I think you keep giving me your leads, and I only want to steal things that I take on purpose, so are... Well, Lux has them now. Who keeps pushing yeah, off the fine. thing? I don't know what to do with them. Do you have a scary story? Mm, I mean, I have something that happened to me personally, but I don't have any stories. Well, yeah, it's what's scary? the deal with you stealing my bit, huh? What? Your what now? Oh, yeah, Astro was skulking yeah, around invisible bit. first. Oh, the bit. Oh, rude. oh, yeah. I mean, I, I thought, thought it would be funny if you guys got haunted. I don't know. Rude. Certainly tried. Yes, there's a lot of campfires. I don't know how to tell you, but there's far too many campfires. There is a reasonable lot. number of campfires. This is not a reasonable number <laughs> of campfires. There is a reasonable it number of me. campfires. Are you, enjoying, my... are you enjoying the sauna, Lux? This is very enjoyable, but I'm just saying that there's a lot of them. There is a reasonable. Do you come tell a story? Since I, you're here anyway. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't like being stalked. You know, kind of rude. You don't like. I being gave you a stalked. flower though. Yeah, I did like the flower. Fine, I guess you're forgiven. It's a bit hypocritical yeah. not to like being stalked, considering how many times I've been in your house. Um, oh. Not like I. It's not like I stalk much. Yeah, no. I mean, I've been in. I've been. I've been in Esther's house like. Maybe a third of the times that they've been in mine, so it's fine. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Staking. It balances out. Is this? That's definitely how it the works. The levels of stock. Girls, I'm glad we can agree. There's how it still works. a little ghost thing here, though. I'm still being pushed. Anyway. Oh. Oh, there's definitely still a ghost. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. You mean there were two? That explains. Yeah, there it. were definitely oh. two. <laughs> There's two imposters. Tell tell your story again. Oh, I don't know how I know that. Okay. Oh my god, it's sleeping. Okay. Um, when I was younger, uh, there was a time where I was trying to sleep in my room, and um, I woke up in the middle of the night, hearing bone chimes in my ear. And at first I thought it was just an auditory hallucination, so I tried covering my ears, but it got quieter. Oh. No, they killed my goat! Oh, well, I'm sorry about your goat. I'm oh, sorry about your goat. I like that goat. I'm sorry. Alright, you can go on. I'll just Not be sad about, about it. Goat. <laughs> oh. Uh, anyway, so I didn't... It, it got quieter, which means that it was not a hallucination, which is great. Um... Wait! <laughs> what? What? So rude! <laughs> well, hello? What was that? What a pig oink! <laughs> so mean! Why did- what did I do? Oh, it wasn't okay. you- oh. No! You know what? It, was, it was bird, but birds are cops, so I can't kill them. If um, you could angel, have you one of my, yeah. One of my spirits is confused as to what bone chimes are. <laughs> chimes made of bones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was in the name. Like, come on. Yeah, like yeah. wind yeah. chimes with bones. Right That's a normal thing to have. They're just they're just made out of bone. It's it's a hunter thing. More so. What um, in the world does that sound like they Interesting are? hunters. Like wood chimes, but wrong. I don't have bone chimes. No, Why not? Oh my fucking god. You seem like you yeah, That's actually a good point. I think bone chimes would be cool. 
Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I think they would fight, fit your, uh, aesthetic. I agree. Signify <laughs> when someone's entering your office. God, that All would be right, terrifying. Alright, dickhead. Breaking the loops I'm standing on. <laughs> anyway, yeah, like I'm going, yeah. Let Angel yeah. Yeah. Um, story. So I heard that, and I, uh, you know, squeezed my eyes shut, because I was like, ah, that's fucking terrifying. I was like a little child. I didn't know any better. Um, I got this this image in my head of this older, like, elderly woman, woman, fuck, <laughs> um, with, like, long gray hair holding the, um, bone chimes above my ear, and then I panicked and I leaped out of my bed, and then the second I closed the door behind me, uh, the chimes got quieter again, and so I ran to my parents' room, and I asked them to go look into my room, and they didn't find anything, so... That was fun. That was the- that was the whole story? It never got resolved or anything, that was literally just it. Huh. Terrifying. Fascinating. Yeah, that can't have been fun. No, not really. You were really. being haunted. Yeah, I got- Dude, wait, hold on. Where have you been? <laughs> in the library? We have a so library? I found a library? There's a library? I found a library. We'll get to it later. We're doing bonding time now. Oh yeah, Cap. Trauma you time later. Cap, do you have a story? Oh, yeah. I want to hear more about the haunted baby vampire. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's, that's honestly, I mean, I have more stories, but I want somebody else to go. Cap. Yeah. Uh, I mean, mine, mine, mine's not really a story, it's more like an old parent's tale. You, you, you're, 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 you've been telling stories, mine is not a story. It can mine be was a story jump if you believe in yourself. Uh, be a parable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stanley Parable? Who? What? Who's just that? Stanley. Just tell, oh, just tell your story, just tell your story. Does it mean Black something family? that the zombie ignored all three of us and went for Gawain? Yeah, yes. what the fuck was Probably. that? <laughs> Gawain's just so attackable. Yeah. I mean, that is the, the truth for as long as I've known them. Oh, you know what? That explains it, I think. Alright. Where's Ren? Alright, so Oh. Hi. Hey. Uh, is Ren sure they want to be here? Ren's here? You, then it's fine, Ren. Oh, Ren! Ren's the one that's been pushing everyone. Oh. Ooh, He's been sorry. causing violence. They should have violence reflected upon okay. them. No, me. no, 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 the child. <laughs> that's like one of the rules we made, remember? Yeah, but we're not in Kingdom Bounds. I yeah, think this is, a, this is a fucking very moral good hunting rule. rule. This is a moral rule. This is very good. Their, very their crimes can travel upwards to Angel. Yeah, that tracks. Uh, Cap, do you want to tell your story? What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Here you are. I was have a marshmallow. Uh. Huh? Good job, Bren. Hey, you did really good. Cap, do you have a story? Oh, very story. spooky, very spooky. Mm -hmm. These look like eggs. Oh, so we are just showering the baby. Well, I did my best, okay? <laughs> Marshmallow is larger than the child. I'm aware. It's okay, they shrink. The children shrink or the marshmallows? The marshmallows. Should let Captain do their story. Come on, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. What? Uh, scary story. your scary story. Oh, uh, right. Yes. Uh, like I said, this isn't really a story. You guys will be telling stories. This isn't a story. It's just a thing that parents tell their kids, I guess. Go, go, mm -hmm. go. I don't really know if there's a word for that. Um, cautionary tale. Urban legend. Yeah, something like that. I guess. Uh,. It is a creature that lives on the underside of the island. 
and there is only one of them, but it can be anywhere and everywhere, and it always knows. It will, whenever someone gets, anyone gets too close to the edge or to the bottom, it will, it will reach up with these spindly, dripping fingers that are dropping some, some kind of black substance down into the infinite void below and it will reach around the edges of the islands reaching up to grab you and it will drag you down and it will doesn't matter how much you scream how loudly you scream how much you fight back against it it will burn you alive as it drags you down into the abyss it's quite mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, think I know ominous. the name of the creature i think i know the name that? of the creature what's the name of the creature august the discrimination against goop blood <laughs> no, come on now. <laughs> August never August never drags. Yeah, they I don't drag ask. anyone in. I'm very big on consent, guys. No, it it wasn't August. We always called it Swirlipa. Swirlipa? What does that mean? Oh, I heard Swirler Man, like Slender Man, but okay, never mind. Sorry. Hey Swirler hey, man. what does Swirlipa mean? Um it doesn't really mean anything. I mean the swir part kind of means void, and then the other thing I don't—I think that word's kind of been lost to history. Mm. There's so many stories of reaching hands and things of uh, uh, the world breaking away from below. I mean, yeah. it was the end. It was kind of wasn't really broken. It was kind of just existing. Um, Ren, you mm. don't have to, but since I know you're around here somewhere, do you want to tell a story? You're muted, by the way. A scary oh. one, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oops. Me too. You don't have to if you don't want to. That's fine. Okay. Wait, hang on, I'm gonna do friend. a dramatic voiceover. Ready? One time, I had a friend. That's crazy, you had a friend? <laughs> <laughs> One day, rude. wasn't around anymore, and I got sad. Oh, mm. Ren. No. Oh. But then they showed up and went boo, <gasps> and I got scared. That's very scary. Oh. That is very scary. That's my story. Aww. Aww. Uh, that was story. wonderful. I like the story. I can relate to that one. Yeah, Aster, good luck following that. Yeah, I think I think that's been oh, everyone man, that how am I ever going mm -hmm. to? Yeah, I think that's the best skeleton, story. Skeleton, 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 there's a child on my head. I can't deal with that. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, uh, Aster? Aww. Oh, right. Yes, I'm of course. My talons for evil. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, actors, ladies, and, ladies, gents, and all other configurations of gaming. Funk. All right. So you gotta Everybody. be higher than everyone else. Uh, yeah. I brought my cool little amethyst block, and I'm gonna make use of it. Excuse me. Are you the one that what? kept the amethyst blocks outside my house? No, no, it wasn't me. Did somebody put amethyst blocks outside your? Who keeps breaking it? Oh, that was stars. <laughs> And even when we have my that. cool amethyst. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> hey, whoever's doing that? I'm going that. in the tree. Mean to me. I'm not doing that, but that is funny. Let let Aster tell their story. Koda, can you move? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm, uh, time for a story. Mm-hmm. So. 
once there was a great deer. It was tall, taller than any being had any right to be, stretching to the sky and above the trees with a height previously unknown to any who saw it. It prospered. It was part of the forest, and the forest was part of it in turn. The two could not be separated. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> whoever right. whoever did that, please stop. <laughs> well, tell the so cow to mean. stop cutting down the tree. So lay stop cutting down the tree. Okay. <laughs> For it was part of the forest, and the forest was part of it in turn. The two could not be separated, as so too do the sun and moon rely on each other, their ebb and flow. The immutable truth was that they were tied together, and tethered in a way that could never be broken. Now as was the nature of this place, every few years or so, the deer would journey back to the forest in which it was born. And upon arriving there, the trees would be crushed underfoot to make way for new fauna. So would begin the new cycle of life and rebirth, and death among the animals would not prosper in this place. For those that inhabited the forest would see and hear the deer coming, and every time clear the area in expectation of this. It was a natural cycle after all, one that had been seen and observed many a time. One day, a family of squirrels moved in. They were not from the forest, and thus did not understand its ways, nor the deer's cycle. They knew of it from the whisperings of other creatures and observation of the new trees that had sprouted. But these squirrels prided themselves on being smarter than the other animals. We can harness the power of this deer, they told themselves. Use it as a protector and laborer. What a waste to let this great power go unused, to let the deer remain passive in nature. Surely to innovate is our right as new inhabitants of the forest. So they set it upon themselves to build a trap. With the wood of the trees around them, they fashioned tight winding ropes by which to ensnare the deer, and in time, tame it. Then they would become strongest among the animals, and no longer would they have to scavenge for nuts and berries to survive. The day of the deer's pil pilgrimage came, and as planned, the ropes were fastened around its body and pulled tight against its skin. The deer cried out in pain. By the very bones of the forest, it took its root in. The struggle that ensued lasted many days and nights, but eventually, after a low keening cry that echoed all throughout the land, the deer succumbed. But in their e eagerness to take that which was not theirs, the, squirrel had, the squirrels had woven their ropes too tightly against the deer. Its eyes, huge and pleading, rolled back in its head, and with a final heaving breath, the last trees sprouted from the ground. There would be no more after this. In the end, the squirrels were crushed under that which they wished to command. The other animals returned to a forest, incapable of loosening its grip. It had known the pain of the deer as it fell, and would not forget it, for the deed had already been done. And the trees in that place grew unendingly afterwards, forevermore, as if the very forest mourned its counterpart would not let those that remained rest. Hmm. I like that story. Mm -hmm. That was a Very good nice. story. Good stories all around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What a shame to kill a miracle. Isn't it? Yes. Thank you everyone for coming. Yeah, yeah it was a good time. I felt this right. arousing success in episode. Thank this you. Oh yeah. Fun. Even a, a bigger success than even Law Day, I think. <laughs> I mean, can we really I think call Law Day a success? A bigger success than Law Day. <laughs> 
Oh, to. wait until we tell Sleep this. Where is that guy anyway? To He's gonna be so mad about it. He's are, you tell him, are, are you gonna oh, tell him? Are you gonna tell him that he, I threw yeah, a better party right, than he, he does? He's got a he's got yes. a few more days oh, of yeah. exile for his punishment. Exile. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's oh, he taking that exile? Like he, he one of the one off. of the laws that we made was one of the ways that punishing happens is you get exiled from the kingdom for a few know. days. What did he do? And uh, he started unceremoniously uh, breaking the rule of, of fairness and council voting by evicting anathema repeatedly despite nobody agreeing on a punishment. Um, mm. And then he's in exile now. Oh, hold on, Soleil, hey, where where is he in exile? Hey. Oh, um, I don't think that I'm supposed to tell you where he is. Which means that as a clown, it's your duty to. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I was, no, I mean, as a clown, as um, I'm supposed to keep secrets when people tell me them, which I think I'm but pretty good at. what if they're at. funny? What if they'd be funny if they got out? Um, I, I feel like I'm not going to break a contract that easily, <laughs> but I could be convinced. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, meet me after this, I guess. Okay, no. That guy was supposed to move all my stuff, you know. Worst U-Haul ever. <laughs> What's a U-Haul? What is a U-Haul? It's uh... again, it's in the name. U Where did you get a bacon sandwich from? <laughs> is it yeah. a type of cart? <laughs> it didn't come from me. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Where'd this come from? <laughs> I threw it at Anathema, and you oh. picked it up. As you <laughs> Sorry, my inventory is full. Oh. <laughs> I would never drop bacon. How else are you supposed to get the word out about the meat shack? Oh shit, you're right. I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> a meat are shack? Meat shack? Oh, we have a meat shack. shack. Oh, yeah. meat shack. Bird, what's what's that up, name? Uh... We opened up Thinking a meat shack by your, uh, um, by your, like, what is the meat shack on the server? <laughs> what is that name? Why did you choose know. that name? Oh, it's, it's, it's right next to the meat shack. I just it's right Why did you come uh, up with that name? <laughs> it's right next, it's right next to the waypoint. You'll appreciate it's it. It's hard, what the fuck? The meat shack. It's next to my waypoint. <laughs> it's right next door. We only have room for a shack and all we can sell is meat. <laughs> you yeah. the fucking name? <laughs> what else is I supposed to name it? Meat Not shaft, uh, one of the spirits. No, is I like meat shaft. One of the spirits is suggesting meat shaft. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not accurate. That's even better. Man, speaking of the meat shack, if you want to buy cakes, I came up with some new recipes for cake that are more than like the normal boring cake. Oh. So if you want to oh. buy cakes, I'm selling cakes now. Ooh. In the meat shack. Do you have any free samples? No. Shack. Why would I sell <laughs> cakes in the meat shot? I'm selling them in the circus. Going on a joint venture. Maybe oh, they're okay. meat cakes. <laughs> I'm not judging you and your meat you... cake. Yeah. yeah there's, so like, there's like a shepherd's pie. Why? Do you have any free like samples? Cute, but it's a meat cake. Um, I don't have any samples on me because I wasn't expecting to advertise the cake sale. I do have meat cakes, but uh, I don't think this server is ready for those yet. No, oh, I want meat cakes. Of I course, think you want meat cakes. cakes. I seem to have missed a great deal. I think you guys can start yeah. small with like strawberry and chocolate cakes Somebody and then work your way up to meat speed, cakes. I'm sure. Chocolate cakes? I have chocolate cakes, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's getting you excited, huh? Yeah, he likes chocolate. I, I mean, I don't have them with me right now. Um, I would, I would have to go make one. Well, that's your payment. Okay. Oh, um, gold. They are a little three bit harder. more expensive than three gold, but I will, I will, I'll, I'll take its price just for you, King. Three more gold. You've made a really oh, good offer, and gold. you're gonna get some cakes. <laughs> Excellent. You should have asked for permission to put more of your signs up without getting murdered. I mean, I'm gonna do that anyway. Eh. Guys, I got a new goat! Nice. Oh Thanks. no, there are so it. many campfires! See how long this one lasts! Campfire. No! This is going to be a disaster. Oh, uh, a uh, uh, oh. Uh, this is I'll for you, so that you can shoot me more. Listen, you can't spell disaster without Asta. Oh, hey, so true. True. <laughs> so true. Speaking of speaking of shooting you more, Soleil, I've actually learned that uh, killing you doesn't really uh, contribute much to the server blood. Oh, so it actually absolutely does. I've been making regular trips to move the blood into August's spin. What? Why? Because uh, it's what really funny, and they seem to be a fan of it. That is pretty funny. It uh, might be a different server blood then, because this blood I've been checking it regularly hasn't. Oh, the blood at the spawn. I'm also moving that. Guys, my goat's in a Where tree. Where are you How moving the blood at spawn? Uh, I've been putting it in Angel's room. <laughs> what are you 
What? How what? Did, what did you do? Wait, what have you been putting in my room? Uh, you and why blood? is your why is your tampering with science your primary occupation? I just thought the vampire wanted away. blood, and I thought it would be funny if I put more blood in August's box. I don't know. Where I've been watching that shit like a hawk. Well, clearly not very well. Maybe you're just a particularly distractible hawk. Not that <laughs> distractible. Mm, yeah, so, you know, are. it's a clown. Clowns uh, lie. I do not. I have known you to lie a couple times. Well, uh... You know, maybe you're not that trustworthy. You really gonna stack a, play a social capital game with Coda? I mean, yeah, I've been in his house a few times recently. It's really weird. Is there such a thing as social okay. lowercase? <laughs> a lot of that, I think. Isn't there a thing against trespassing now? There, there is, is a thing. Legally kill oh, yeah, there is, but you can't her. prove that I've done it. No fun. Also, the, the punishment it. isn't. The punishment isn't murder for uh, for trespassing. Um, it's community service, and I've been doing so much community service. You've been doing it ahead of time just so you can get your trespassing in. I mean, duh. Oh man, I should do that. Because <laughs> thing is, like, I I don't need to tell anybody that I did it, and they're just like, oh, you need to trespass, do some community service, and I'm like, whoa, where this kelp cup farm come from? <laughs> I'm so fast, but I actually did it, like a week ago. Okay, I should do that. Here, You're all menaces. Done do you want to? Do you want help getting that goat <laughs> yeah. home? Uh, you know what? Yes, I do. I'm getting a little worried about him and all these campfires. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I blame you. Not exactly a goat safe environment. <gasps> boat, boat, boat. The boat floats your goat. The roof floats your goat. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Go this way. Uh, okay, Thank hold you. on. Sorry. Whoa, oh, there they go. Whoa, oh, there they go. <laughs> Watch out, boy! They'll goat you up! Whatever goats your float. You may have everyone, right. everyone! Here. One of my spirits has suggested hydration. Oh yeah, oh. I've been hydrated okay. by uh, okay. Ze like Zeke has hydrated me. I'm good. Mm -hmm. I would like. Uh, you might have to. You might have to get out of the boat now. I'm sorry. Oh man. Okay. Use the lead on the goat. Here, hang on. I got. I got. Part. There you go. All right. New quest. New quest. What new are you quest. gonna name get it? Get the fucking goat home. Goat time. Goat time. Well, goat this has time. been fun. Let's try to not start another forest fire. <laughs> yeah. I'm naming that... it. Probably be I'm advised. naming it Car Cat. Why? Good for you. Okay. I would be a goat. Which That's direction do I go? Mythical figure. Yes. That way. Don't worry about it. You oh, it's a minor a god. Car Cat is a minor god that I heard of uh, in my travels. Soleil, oh. I saw that. It can only be a screaming goat, though. Otherwise, what are they a minor a god of? Oh my god. Blood. 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 Yep. Blood. Blood? Blood. Blood. So you know. This is a, this is a very interesting conversation. <laughs> Blood. Oh god, okay. Oh god. I think oh, this wow. is a lost cause at this point, unfortunately. You know what? I oh, took the really really right out of Oh my god. Oh, yeah. You can never go back here. Oh god.